Hello and welcome to Ask the Crown. I'm Miss United States and your host, Elizabeth Saferit. Today's interview is very special to me because I recently had the opportunity to pass on one of my titles to this woman. It's Miss North Carolina, United States, Jessica Halso. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? I am wonderful. I still hasn't sunk in yet, I don't think. It's finally maybe did like after two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's about how long it took for me, too. It's all right. Uh, well, I've known you for a few years now, seeing as we're both Carolina girls, but tell the viewers a little bit about you. Okay, I just graduated from UNCW with a biology and chemistry degree, a.k.a. I am a little bit of a science nerd. <laughs> uh, I am obsessed with my five-pound poodle, Scout, so if you follow me on Instagram, be prepared for the bombardment of pictures of her. <laughs> so, and... I love God, and I try to make my decisions and build my life around that. <laughs> well, good. Well, congratulations on becoming Miss North Carolina United States in February. What was your first thought, thought when you were crowned? Can we go eat now? <laughs> and then I can't believe I'm going to Miss United States this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I remember I was backstage with you before you were crowned, and the two of us, all we could think about was, when can we go eat? Because the pageant, we had so many girls, ended up going on until about 12 o'clock at night, and everything was closed because it's Sunday in North Carolina, so there's no way for us to eat. <laughs> Elizabeth and I literally discussed the meal we dreamed of, like, in thorough detail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said it yourself, you're going to be continuing on to compete at Miss United States in July in Washington, D.C., and that's only a few months away, so what are you doing to prepare? Well, I recently added hot yoga to my regiment. Good. And it <laughs> tremendously, like, not just physically, but, like, spiritually, mentally, it just puts you at ease, and also, I just eat healthy, and I try to say that instead of going on a diet, because... I think diets, they always end, and I just try to incorporate healthy foods, and I'm thinking about starting a food blog, actually, called um, allgoodsmoothies.com, because I'm obsessed with smoothies. <laughs> I'll follow it. I'll follow it. I think it's just about, I know, we keep you keep lagging, so we keep trying to talk at the same time. I'm sorry, guys. The internet connection. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think it's really just about being healthy and feeling good and not just about being skinny and that's what I want to like teach other girls how to incorporate right right and I can attest to that because I have to brag on you a little bit the very first pageant we ever competed in together actually the only pageant we've ever competed in together you won swimsuit and I always remember thinking she has an amazing physique and always wanting to know what you did to work out so now I know and I can do that from now <laughs> even yeah. though I have husband <laughs> we'll do it together for Miss United States <laughs> well, philanthropy is a huge component of the Miss United States organization, and we like our title holders to have big ambition but even bigger hearts. So what is the platform that you're, you've chosen to promote during your reign? Feeding the 5,000, and I'm very passionate about it. Um, in Nicaragua, I have a very good friend, Amanda Sowards, and her grandparents started World Missions Outreach, and they feed 15,000 kids daily across the country of Nicaragua, and they're goal is to end the cycle of poverty through nutrition and education. And so feeding the 5,000, we realized that the kids didn't have bowls or spoons. Those are luxury items for them. And so we raise money and collect bowls and spoons and go hand deliver them to the kids in Nicaragua. And so I really just want to get the word out there and spread awareness about this cause. And not just that, but being involved locally as well, like going to feed the homeless and just having a heart for others. Yeah, that's that's really great. And that's a good that's a good mission to spread across the country. We need that. So now while I was at Miss World, I created a question and answer segment called MUSO What You Didn't Know and where I answered fun questions from fans to let them know some quirkier things about me. And we're going to continue this on Ask the Crown and you are our inaugural guest. So are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> All right. What song would you pick to sing at karaoke? Well, first of all, no one wants to hear me sing karaoke. Just let me say this. Like, I only sing in my shower or in the car. But anything by the Spice Girls. <laughs> I'm a 90s kid who doesn't like the Spice Girls. Of course. 
goes, yeah, it never goes out of style. So what's your favorite guilty snack? Okay, downtown Wilmington. I'm a Wilmington girl. Mm -hmm. um, they have a place called Killwinds, and they have this apple that is covered in caramel, that is covered in chocolate, then sea salt is sprinkled on it. And good. It is the best guilty pleasure <laughs> ever. Everyone needs to try. <laughs> we'll have to go there in Wilmington then. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite show growing up? Boy Meets World. <laughs> Me too, yeah. I mean, what else is there? Come um, on. Sean Hunter was like my ultimate crush. <laughs> Every child's crush whenever we were growing up. <laughs> it's sort of pointless to ask now considering we found out that you went to UNC Wilmington, but beach or mountains? Girl, my heart is always at the beach. I have salt water in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> the North Carolina beaches are so beautiful, too. The mountains are beautiful. I've never been in the summer, so I'm thinking about going this summer to the mountains, but the beach has my heart. Yes, oh, like. all of our viewers out there, we can attest, we're North Carolina girls. There are a lot of beautiful places to go in North Carolina, but the beach and the mountains in North Carolina are incomparable. So you have to come visit. North What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Salted caramel ice cream. I have a thing for caramel. Yeah, yeah, caramel. <laughs> a, little, a little bit. <laughs> what is something that your friends make fun of you for? Okay, you're gonna laugh at me. Um, I have an obsession, a weird obsession with seashells. <laughs> beach girl, see. Uh -huh. I collect them from every beach I go to. So like, even oh. if I go somewhere, I bring them back. <laughs> Oh, that's really sweet, though. I do, but um, they pick on me because you know the little goblin in Lord of the Rings, Gollum, how he says my precious? <sighs> they pick on me about it, and they say that I'm, like, obsessed like he is. I'm like, guys, <laughs> I like me. I like me. <laughs> how many pieces do you have in your collection? Oh, there's countless. I have sea glass, like hundreds of pieces of sea glass. And countless seashells. I do. I know. I make crafts. I'm a crafter. I, wow. I you make that kind of creative stuff. <laughs> wow. I wish I was crafty, but I have no creativity. It's sad. <laughs> oh, girl. Yes, you do. We, we can craft sometime soon. We'll go visit. <laughs> we'll craft. Well, thank you so much, Jessica, for your time tonight. And best of luck in your preparation for Miss United States. Thank you, guys. It was so fun. I hope I see you soon. Yeah, absolutely. And viewers, this is Miss North Carolina, United States, Jessica Hall. So thanks, Jessica. Bye, guys.